Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Sarah Swistak. Hundreds of pieces of evidence were damaged in a sewer leak at the Ingham County Sheriff's Office four years ago, but it wasn't until this week that the sheriff mentioned that leak to the prosecutor's office. Tonight, Sheriff Gene Rigglesworth admits he doesn't know exactly how much evidence was destroyed. Reporter Susan L. Corey asked him why it took so long to come clean. This is nothing we were trying to hide. Nothing. There was no cover up here. It was just I didn't see a need to bring it to the attention of anybody unless there was a problem. Sheriff Gene Rigglesworth says he didn't want to set off any alarms, so he waited for a case to come up before telling the Ingham County prosecutor about a sewer pipe leak that destroyed hundreds of pieces of evidence four years ago. And as soon as the problem came up and this marijuana case came up, we notified the prosecutor's office. Rigglesworth says his office asked prosecutors to dismiss a six-year-old drug case because the evidence was damaged in the leak. But that might not be the full picture. According to the Lansing State Journal, Major Joel Motman, who oversees the evidence, never mentioned the leak to prosecutors, instead saying the problem was discovered while upgrading the evidence tracking system, something the sheriff says he didn't know about. I don't know what he told the prosecutor's office. The bottom line is the sewage leak is what caused the problem. The sheriff says the evidence included drugs, documents, driver's license, money, and guns. We had maybe, I'd guess, three or four shopping carts full of various pieces of evidence and I couldn't put a specific number on it. Sheriff Rigglesworth told me he didn't know for sure what other evidence was damaged because none of it was documented or even photographed before being thrown away. The county prosecutor is looking into the case, saying in a statement, as prosecutors, we rely on police agencies to provide evidence and information regarding alleged crimes. We will look at this issue regarding evidence at the sheriff's office to determine what, if any action, our office should take. But the sheriff says he talked to the prosecutor and doesn't think any action will be taken. I don't know what there would be to investigate. I mean, we made it pretty clear what's happened here. In Ingham County, Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. So far, the sheriff knows of four cases affected by the missing evidence. He told us all four were misdemeanors. He doesn't think this will be a huge problem because most cases get plea bargained down, so evidence never comes into play. The sheriff's office is doing a reverse inventory to find out exactly what's missing. We will continue to track this story for you.